Well, good morning, howdy tubers. Well, back at this wing again. Uh, got some of the ribs off, and and um, I made a little tool to mark the red center line. And so we'll probably put you on the the stand there, and we'll show you. And but I'll show you the the tool here uh, first. There we go. And of course the, the spacing between the point and there is, is of course the halfway point in there. And I just well I'll show you that when I get it get it on the on the stand. There's the Osmo thing it got from Carlos. I say that right? Oh, shoot. Mm. Sergio. I think that's it. Sorry about that, guy. Um, anyway, um, I also remember I'd put the one of these notched ribs out there on a tip, and I've got that changed out. And also went and grabbed the, the tip rib, or the tip support, that goes in between the goes in in front of the spar because you can't put it behind there because you got the got the angles in the way. So you, that goes in front of the spar, and then of course your rib and your or both ribs, your front and rear ribs go in between that. So I guess if I if you knew where I was, had the camera, you'd know where I was supposed to be. Uh, and if you're doing this on your dining room table and your wife says, hey, uh, don't do that, um, say, well, when I get done, I'll be flying all the time. You won't see me. She might like that. But also, if you're upstairs putting your wing together, and you maybe mess up a little bit while you're doing that, you can just get you some white vinegar and wipe. It takes a little bit, but it keep it's it's not as fast as acetone, but it'll wipe it'll wipe the red mark off. And your wife might like smelling the vinegar. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll show you how I'm marking these ribs. Uh, and sometimes you may need to tweak to tweak this angle so that it's 90. Yeah. And then if, if I'm in, yep, I'm in the shot. Ooh, I said that right. By the way, this is just pushed in there. I found a, a Harbor Freight um, tapered reamer that was pretty radical taper, and that, that helped a little bit. I didn't glue it in. It's just press fit in there. So that if it runs out, I don't have to make another one. I can just... Or, um, yeah, I don't have to make another tool because it's glued in. And then you also got to do the, do the tip two, or the end. This will probably get as boring as putting, as putting rivets in. We'll do one more.
So, I will continue taking these other ribs off. I already did all the other ribs that are that are downstairs. I already did all them. All I got to do is take these apart and do them, and then uh, then I will put. Let's see. Yep, was recording. I will have to back drill from the back. Of course, looking for the line that'll be in the back of there, like here. And line that up with the three holes and drill that. And then as you're holding up on this so that it's uh, flush against the bottom skin, and then drill that, clico it, and then, well, of course, do it all the way across. Uh, now, I was looking in the instructions because I was thinking, man, I'm, I, I've always put this doubler on and, the, and this uh, rear spar and spacer, which you can't get it in the wrong spot because if you look here, see it's got two holes close together at that at that end and two holes close together on that end and then of course there's two holes close together here so you you can't get it in there in the wrong place um, well I mean I guess it's possible but um, on my first ultra cruiser of course scratch built and then the and then the H5 I always riveted this on well I, I riveted I put uh, AVEX rivets through here and then here they're saying to shoot um, the stainless steel rivets through the top but they're saying go through this way is the way I'm understanding it well of course you know I like solid rivets and, and of course if this was all together and had the top skin on here you've got to go through here you've got to go through here to buck the rivets well and it's a bit of a pain uh so on this here i believe there's there's no reason why i can't go ahead and and use my rivet squeezer and go ahead and squeeze these rivets like right now so that's what i We'll do, after I get all these ribs all all marked, we will do that. But that'll be another video. I hope this is helping him. Oh, let's see. Um, another thing I didn't say, that all these ribs on this right wing, all these ribs, this flange, goes to the left, goes towards the fuselage, except... For your tip rib it goes out so keep that in mind and also um, there was something else I wanted to say about it. oh well I mean I don't know if you've seen it but last night that I put the Clicos in this way and since I'm since I've got this uh, cloth on here that that kind of keeps it from digging in and scratching my beautiful table that needs to be refinished um well, i don't know about beautiful but anyways um there was something else i wanted to say about that well i'm well i know it was remember i'd put i'd put one on here that had that had the notch in here like that one and the one with the notch of course goes at the root so, of course, I've already got this one marked with the line, but that'll, well, uh, the tip support rib will go there, and then, and then the rib will go in front of it, and then, and then, of course, behind that support rib will be your spar web, and behind that will be the tip rib which this isn't the right one because I think I already, nope, that isn't it. 
here it is because I well that was one of the ones we just marked so it's ready to go on and I did do the end yep so it's ready to go on and this is ready to go on because that's the see the flange goes to the we'll say the flange goes to the right on that Well, okay, depends on which end you're looking at. And then the flange goes to the left on all the rest of these. Or goes inboard, goes towards the fuselage, however you want to say it. All five of these, one, two, three, four, five of these flanges goes towards the fuselage. But the tip one goes towards the tip. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, you can go ahead and rivet all of this together and go ahead and rivet all that together with with the tip support but do not do not rivet you can drill the holes but don't rivet this rib on you can I, I remember if I remember right you can go ahead and rivet it to here but not not along here because you'll I mean if you do you'll just have to drill them out because that's where the tip the tip skins go on so if you forget it's no big deal you just drill them out but don't put any rivets in there just click on it and you can put your clicos in on the inside so that you don't have a bunch of clicos hanging out there uh, and you bumping into things you can just put them on the inside in a few holes of course top and bottom and on the leading edge um, ribs too so oh man a 12 minute video some people are gonna like that some people aren't anyways let me get this uh apart and get all these other ribs marked and uh, i'm waiting for an insurance gal to to come because they screwed up on my payment and now now i had a collections thing and now my credit report went down i don't really care because i ain't buying nothing but i think i'll i'll tell her all about that and see if she can get that cleaned up anyways there you go and get back to work like uh mike patey back to work there you go god bless